A grasp of the concepts surrounding circles is vital for success in mathematics. Students are often asked, what is a circle? What is a radius? What's a diameter? Students must have an explicit understanding of these key terms in order to comprehend the operations someone can use on circles. With an understanding of the relationships between terms, students can build upon these concepts in future math classes. The base definition is, a circle is a set of points that are equidistant from a center point. In this case right here, our center point is C. For purposes of knowing how far it is, we can use a ruler to figure that out. So right here, we're trying to see if the purple dot, the blue dot, and the green dot are all the same distance away from C. So we have, this is approximately 27 centi uh, millimeters from the green to the center. Our blue dot is approximately 27 millimeters from the blue dot to the center point. And then the purple dot is also approximately 27 millimeters. Therefore, because all of those distances are equal to the center point, we know that this would be a circle. So right here we have the distance is 27 millimeters between each point to the center. So a circle is associated with two related terms, radius and diameter. Students learn the radius is the distance from the center point to any point on the circle. So right here we have our center point, and this is one example of a radius. There's very many that you could choose from, so this is just one example. Then we also know that the diameter is the distance across the circle through the center point. So right here we have the distance across the circle, so one point on one side, one point on the other side, and it passes through the center point. One point of confusion students can run into is distinguishing what a diameter is. Those just beginning to learn about circles might forget that the diameter must go through the center point. They might mistake a chord for a diameter, thus yielding an incorrect answer. The radius and a diameter have a relationship that is vital to students' understanding. It can cut down, it can cut down the steps taken to solve, solving a problem, and it can also help in solving problems that have missing information. We know that the radius is equal to half the diameter, and in this case, we could use D to represent diameter. We also know that the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2. We know that the diameter is twice the radius, so for this, we represent radius as 2R. So we know that if you are given a radius, you can multiply it by 2 to get the diameter. And without this understanding, solving for the area or circumference would prove to be extremely difficult. Knowledge of the different parts of a circle in their relationship is important once students encounter circumference. Circumference is often explained as a perimeter of a circle. So as we see here, we're trying to find the measure of this whole line right here. So we know that the circumference is given by two formulas. First, it's given pi times the diameter. And then we also know you could rewrite that as 2 pi times the radius. One can see that without knowledge of the relationship between diameter and radius, students would not be able to see how the formulas are equivalent. So right here we see we substitute d in for 2r, thus giving us two different formulas, and you could use what you know in order to solve the problem. So, um, with circles also comes a discussion of what is pi, the infamous number in math. Teachers often say pi is a non-repeating, never-ending number. Pi is also represented as a ratio between the circumference and diameter. That is, when the circumference of a circle is divided by the diameter, the output is always pi. Therefore, we know the circumference divided by the diameter equals pi. All the time, for every single circle. It requires a great deal of literacy in math for students to understand the abstract concept of pi. Students must grasp the relationship between radius and diameter, the concept of pi, and the connection between circumference and diameter in order for the students to make meaning of what a circle is. Without knowledge and complete understanding,
future math that involves circles would be extremely difficult.